Hello everyone, Darsenovia here. This is my review, like I promised. Uncanny X-Men, The Dark Phoenix Saga. Any X-Men fan, and if you have a casual knowledge on the comics, The Dark Phoenix Saga is probably the most famous, if not one of the most famous, X-Men stories of all time. And it's one of the most popular. It's been used in... This storyline was used in various different sources. Even that piece of shit X-Men movie, which we will not name until we review it. The animated series adapted this storyline pretty well. Now, this collects X-Men issues 129 through 137. This collects the whole story arc. This also is the first appearance of a fan favorite Katie Pride. And what is about this story that, that that's been so enduring and held up to the test of time? Why it's one of the most popular, you know, comic book storylines. Well, in my, this is gonna piss off some people, but I'm gonna say it. Marvel did a lot of bold stuff at this period, you know, during the 70s and the 80s, because they not only they brought the Silver Age to an end with the death of the Stacys, but this took a character that was the weakest of the X Men and made her into potentially, you know, the most powerful character of the D of the Marvel Universe, of course, until it was retconned on that it was not Jean Grey who was Dark Phoenix, all that stupid bullshit that they did in the 90s. But we're not going to talk about that. We're just going to talk about the story itself. It was really great. It was well written. The artwork, which I which I like to talk about in my, in my reviews, because to be honest, art is one of the things that does make a comic. It can make or break it. It's, it is amazing. This is some of the best, you know, X-Men comic in terms of art. I mean, this, it was really cool. I really enjoyed this story. It's not, as, it's not action-packed like some people would like it. But the stories in these were amazing. This is the first appearance of the Hellfire Club, which would, you know, be one of the biggest enemies of the X-Men. I mean, it's just, there's just so much I could say that are really good about this, you know, story arc. It's one of the best, actually. And they did it again. They killed off a character, unlike DC, which a lot of the, the deaths didn't really matter, honestly. Like, here's another example of great artwork. This is reasons why I love classic Marvel. The art is amazing. It really is. And I thought, you know, the aspect, the story, you know, with this was, was really good. You know, it also showed how power so much of it can overwhelm you, how it can consume you. And I felt like this is one of these storylines I wish Marvel would have never have touched. It's unfortunate they bring back Jean Grey later on, which, of course, death is never permanent in comics, but there's, there's some occasions where I believe bringing back a character could make a storyline that was really good kind of... It kind of you know, makes everything in the Dark Phoenix Saga in vain. Because the characters, Wolverine, Colossus, Scott, Cyclops, everyone, they love Jean Grey. But you find out later it wasn't really Jean. Then who the fuck did they love in the first place? Who's this person they were willing to risk the, the existence of the universe for? But if you ignore that, that stupid story that brings her back, this is still a really good story on its own. And even if you have zero knowledge on the X-Men, or if you just want to get into X-Men comics, 
this is a good place to start. It's where I started. I'm more of a DC person, but I wanted to read some X-Men. I wanted to be exposed to their classical roots because most of my exposure through X-Men has been through the animated series and Brian Singer's X-Men films. And I knew that the X-Men in those movies is not what they represent. I wanted to actually experience the Dark Phoenix saga, especially the right way. And this is a storyline, I hope to God, 20th Century Fox, you have a second chance to adapt this storyline. Do it properly. This story is a five out of five stars, I think, or my new rating, a masterpiece. I think it's great. Any comic book fan should read it. I believe you owe yourself, if you love comics and you are more of a classic 70s or 80s era comic fan, Read this. Seriously. You'd be doing yourself a, a favor. It's a really good story. And one, of, and one of Marvel's best comics they've ever published. This is Dar Synovia over and out. And I can't really comment what's next we're, I'm going to review. I'll probably just announce it in one of my videos. Peace out, everyone.